Hello everyone and now welcome to a 2v2 matchup between Lovestruck, FedEx going up against Scripton and Fossey. FedEx spawning under the name Fedder over here as the Red Orc. His partner going to be sp Lovestruck spawning under the name Macro93F. They're going up against, well, a teal Scripton over here at what I'll call the 12 o'clock position. And finally Fossey spawning as the teal human here at the 9 o'clock position. 2v2 matchup getting things underway it is looking like a true mirror match altar of kings being placed down barracks meanwhile all the way across the map on the other side it looks as though it's gonna be well it's gonna be paladin riflemen so a lot of range units in this matchup farseer coming back across here farseer coming in as there as well as things are already getting underway only real difference is it will be rifleman and maybe perhaps paladin yeah rifle paladin as the hero choices coming in from the red team gonna go ahead and slow things down here as the far here coming in to harass getting a little bit closer to the two minute mark than i normally do or past the two minute mark as there is already a bit of pressure being placed down onto that scout tower scout tower will get a lot of repairs in and meanwhile surround on that null overseer archmage gets up to level two gonna pick up that tome of intelligence plus two drops a water elemental and ready to well bring in the damage meanwhile peasant could end up easily getting taken down there there goes one peasant there goes a wolf now trying to go after more units as well only two footmen amongst the mist as the archmage um, should have a bit of a, an advantage in that fight it is level two and also picked up a tome of intelligence being able to dish out just a little bit more range damage coming back around here paladin able to defend nicely and easily a couple of arcane towers still within range trying to put in some pressure and well some of that feedback charge damage that you often see as this force control trapper trying to wander around on the inside accidentally going to get taken down here is the is the paladin going to get the final shot off he does now halfway to level two paladin absorbing a lot of that damage but no easy way to get healed meanwhile on the other side of the map um well farseer with all of that harassment as well all right paladin is sitting at level one still archman sitting at level two will able to be it will be able to push back this farseer and the red team seemingly just wants to go for a lot of range units not that many footmen um, at all to be seen as only Fossey has a bit of a front line but it is getting pressured back by those spirit wolves and the three headhunters an arcane vault will need to be uh, thrown down fairly quickly by teal in order to get some heals meanwhile coming back on the other side here it looks as though the paladin is going to get very close to level three but not quite get there oof twitch notification almost three minutes late feels bad no no D don't feel bad thank you for tuning in um just trying to get back into the swing of things after a monday labor labor day holiday farseer trying to retreat back will be able to do exactly that scroll of town portal used there farseer burning that scroll of town portal heading back home and will be visiting that voodoo lounge now um, needs to pick up that healing salve there heal up once more perhaps get that paladin to give him a holy light as well as we see the dragon spawn warriors getting focused down pretty quickly all right fighting their way through there goes that apprentice there's a holy light right there last blue dragon spawn warrior about to be taken down but a big fight happening down here on the south massive number of headhunters trying to take down the burrow of um well take down the burrow here as we're seeing some damage getting racked up once more what is well red gonna do here as they're trying to push back once again and able to do exactly that all right more uh, more pushing back here fedex able to push that back without much of a problem meanwhile lovestruck um is still just going around the map trying to clear out creep camps has picked up a cloak of shadows has dual claws of attack plus five and it looks like he really wants to try and get to level three once the paladin gets to level three he's going to be very difficult to take out as that holy light is going to have that 400 burst heal across multiple units on top of that with access to his partner's voodoo lounge he'll be able to use healing salves effectively on himself as well that healing salve could make a dramatic dramatic difference as normally the paladin is the one who needs to find a way to heal up in order to stay alive level three on that paladin already has a pendant of energy to go alongside of those items he should be able to keep all of his well brethren brethren and well partner units alive as well all right 
headhunter already looking to retreat back here stronghold we are going into spirit lodge i don't see a bestiary though as it may just be a spirit lodge as units are going to try and engage grunt units could be trying to come across the center here and in comes the rifleman from the north however that is not very good position especially with fossey now with the fen it would reflect back all of that damage here all right one in unit trying getting caught in transit there are we going to see a holy light on a low hit point paladin or low hit point rifleman rifleman down to 157 gonna try and retreat back there's a torrent chieftain in the back is it gonna be able to close down a stomp yes it does and suddenly well the torrent chieftain delivering a, a big a big a blast of damage stunning down units Fars here continuing to try and engage here. Teal able to put in all of that pressure as the Torrent Chieftain able to regroup temporarily. Fars here, scroll of speed getting away, but doesn't have a healing salve. Could be in some serious trouble as it tries to head back here. All right, it there buys a potion of healing instead. A little bit of regrouping once more. Red unit still fighting off to the north here. Paladin now low on mana. Unable to do very much. Going to be forced to use the scroll of town portal. It is going to teleport back down to the south in order to try and regroup he needs a clarity potion some healing salves and some way to get back into all of this action all right mountain king also going to be coming across back across here storm bolts could be throwing down thrown down and there goes one rifleman already level two now on the farce here farce here trying to keep his distance away gets in a chain lightning across the backside there and now siphon mana away from the paladin and it seems as though the red team um, well, no, siphon mana into the Paladin in order to try to keep him alive. Paladin still needs a little bit more mana. Gonna go ahead and, well, get some from that Mountain King instead, as the Paladin should be able to Holy Light back some of those units. The timing on those on those second heroes making a dramatic difference. The Torin Chieftain with that stomp really having a big, big overall impact. There's a nice four, 450 hit point rifleman now. And also the timing on that Blood Mage. All right, both sides extreme. Yeah, both sides really aggressive in terms of a tempo and in pacing. And now it is Teal's turn to try and clear out creep camps. Teal does feel like he's a bit, a bit behind on experience on those heroes, um, as the Paladin is already getting close to level four. And now both sides are actually going to be creeping out pretty fast. Blood Mage wanting to take down as much mana as possible, going after the su sorcerer could go after the sorcerer again and, and hopefully keep that unit long enough alive long enough but well no go actually siphon mana back into the paladin first i don't know if i actually agree with that the paladin is already back up to 415 and well the blood mage is now down to zero it would have been better if the blood mage was able to initiate with a siphon mana or be topped out as well coming back across here far seer level two torrent chieftain level one in comes the engagement and in comes the sorceress priest and well this well this army now trying to engage off here paladin is currently in that cloak of shadows and completely hidden we're waiting for the proper timing and position as the riflemen do not want to engage those footmen with the fen probably misclick um maybe maybe all right blood mage not looking to retreat back here marketplace is well any items from the marketplace purchased i don't believe so didn't see any anything as of yet i doubt he would buy a crystal ball uh, most likely may end up trying to go in to sell that here in just a moment as we see the creep camp here getting cleared up off to the north side torrent chieftain already sitting at level two getting closer to level three farseer however is taking some of that experience as well all right, there goes Rune Bracers. Could be useful there. Siphon mana against the Shaman that didn't have that much mana. Now could try to go after that last Shaman as well, but it's pretty already well topped off on mana in addition. Farseer. Well, what item was dropped here? No, no, no. Rune Bracers. Yeah, the Rune Bracers dropped onto the Torrent Chieftain in that frontline spot. Could be extremely useful to try and shake off damage from Stomps, Storm Bolts, and the Chain of Lightning. Coming back through, Force Troll Trapper now taken down. Last unit getting taken down here. It seems as though Teal is going to have a little bit more opportunity to clear out more of these creep camps and extend their experience advantage as the majority of the southern side creeps have already been cleared out. And well, Fossey is already in position off to the north. Mountain King may have now gone into a Stormbolt Thunderclap. Archmage, level 1 Brilliance or a level 2 Blizzard going after all of these units, picking up a Ring of Regeneration to, well, keep that Mountain King nicely topped off on hit points. Units still making their way off the north here. Expansion already up and running for Fossey as well. So 
Tio opening up with a lot of aggression. And then once tier two happened, back backed off a bit, was able to creep and set up an expansion as red seems to be in a little bit of trouble here as they seem to be down on experience um, and also down on gold. Tech wise, we are at Stronghold Castle going up against Fortress Keep. So pretty much exactly opposite here um, as we're um, but still even as the rifleman going to try and engage. We are looking also at dual griffin aviaries training up a large number of griffins and that is a beautiful transition based on the number of footmen with the fen that we're currently looking at all right farsi you're going to try and back away paladin is going to back away as well expansion will stay operational here as they all retreat back thank you for the follow all right we are at berserkers there are sorceresses here as well overall supply count 50 over 54 going up against 59 63 um let's see what's down here 53 so well both love struck and fedex are also behind on the supply count as well it is really going to come down to these griffin riders and how useful and effective they're going to be now remember the paladin does have devotion aura giving additional armor to those air units and air units now so they're going to be a little bit more difficult to take out but the question is going to be how much more difficult as the Berserkers already have that 2-0 upgrade. Torin Chieftain picking up a robe of Magi now up to 600 or 330 mana. Um, that plus 6 intelligence making a big difference for that level 2 stomp. All right. Archmage quickly retreats back with the Scroll of Town Portal, but tipping the hand to Griffin Riders already. Are we going to see a transition into more anti-air units? grunts looking to engage right here about to take down this town hall town hall looks like it will fall without much of a problem and here we are going into an engagement no one or two more taps needed there it goes there's a flame strike and the griffin's gonna try and engage perhaps against some of those footmen or other units sorceresses actually diving on in amongst multiple spots holy light needed on the blood mage but not in time it took a storm bolt as the torrent chieftain now in the front lines trying to get down as many stomps archmage could be in trouble archmage down to 46 hit points it gets hit by a chain lightning as well and heroes on both sides have fallen Holy Light trying to save up some of those Griffin Riders with 1-0 upgrades as the Thunderclap now comes back across and now throwing down a stomp as well. This is a massive battle and both sides are going to take some heavy, heavy losses as the Paladin uses, well, a, um, uses, um, well, Potion of Lesser and Vulnerability to try and stay alive. Rifleman still trying to fight their way through. Are we going to see the death of a Griffin? No, we are not. That was able to retreat back. All right. 49 and 51 going up against 55 and 55 so red team actually has a larger army composition right now as it's transitioning into air well into knights and griffins interesting choice transitioning away from the riflemen that were trained earlier as we are looking at a dual racks dual griffin aviary strategy uh, well paladin needs to use some clarity potions in addition to getting that blood mage back out onto the battlefield but is there going to be time to rest? That is the question now. Spellbreakers, Farseer, Shadowhunter now leading the charge. Torn Chieftain, Archmage with, with level 1 Brilliance or a topping out the entire, entire army here. And here we are, ready to go. Footman with the Fen going to try and engage here. And now Griffin's going to try and come back across. Griffin's going after the Mountain King, really going after the um, the Footman are perhaps the better call. Yes, the Mountain King is the more powerful, more um, bigger target. But at the same time, with that restrictive damage, I'd rather deal 100 damage to a footman than, well, 20 damage to a mountain king. All right, continuing the fight its way through. Siphon mana, thunderclap, but blood mage able to drain out a, a lot of that mana. Thank you for the sub, but more blizzard now raining down here as well as the mountain king could be in trouble. Red able to hold this off temporarily. Mountain king falling at level 3 as the flame strike now causing traffic problems for red. Scroll of healing being used right there to try and break free. There's a stomp now onto the Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain using a potion of lesser and vulnerability to try and stay alive. So much AoE damage across multiple sides. And remember, AoE damage, well, targets everything. So it doesn't matter who's casting it as it only matters who, who what is underneath it. All right, a bunch of low hit point grunts. That is going to be a problem. That could give additional experience to the Shadow Hunter and the Archmage, who now has level 4 Brilliance Aura. More Blizzard raining down. Damage racking up. Torrent Chieftain trying to back away down to 179 hit points. Rune Bracers. Is it going to be enough? And it looks like that Rune Bracers was enough to keep him alive. Red needing to try and come back into this fight as well. So many ranged units. Berserkers continuing to poke around. Griffin trying to retreat back. 
sorceresses with slow making that retreat nearly impossible as the torrent chieftain wants to throw down a stomp just short on mana and getting hit by spellbreakers never really getting going the distance torrent chieftain now making its way back around staff of sanctuary saving a low hit point knight but it is still very close to all of that action here as a chain lightning could bounce around and finish it off all right home field advantage really not that much of a big home field advantage as there are no towers here at all blood mage getting saved at the last possible second with a holy light there both sides still fighting their way through one day's night needing to regenerate a lot more hit points before joining out into the battlefield torrent chieftain now still has not gotten that stomp off and really missed the opportunity earlier when there's a bunch of berserkers all clumped together blood mage falls at level three paladin however is now at level five so a 600 hit point heal is in order griffins now trying to go after some of those other targets. Torrent Chieftain could lay down a stomp here, but the Spellbreakers will try to remove that precious mana first. All right, Griffins trying to go after those units. Paladin still in the backfield, trying to Holy Light, keep that Torrent Chieftain alive and well. 40 supply here, trying to hold off the defense here. There goes a Griffin there as the Griffin, or sorry, um, there goes a um, Kodo Beast as the Griffins finding that target. Wow, Spacebar not taking me to the fight there as the Paladin continue to fight back around. Spellbreakers needing to join back into the battle. A farseer, Torrent Chieftain looking to retreat back again, but the Teal Army never relenting, still pushing forward and well, getting, catching their opponent off guard, even though they had a slight supply advantage at the start of this battle. However, that two on one a battle here and positioning making such a drastic difference as fighting still getting underway. Blood Mage trying to get resurrected or resurrected and re retrained back out into the battlefield, but that is not looking good as the Torrent Chieftain down to dead and with that um, well the chances and opportunities are still falling a lot of ranged and well piercing damage here as there is the gg coming in so love so even though um was it overall score yeah overall score um there we are and like for some reason it didn't queue up on the scores properly so Scripton Fossey taking that number one, number three position, even though they had less resources overall, it felt like. Towards the end, they were able to get more resource. Comes as a little bit of a surprise. All right, anyways, let me know what you guys, I'm trying to like recap, trying to give Germans one. All right, trying to give a recap of what happened there, but so much going on in the early stages so much harassment the middle portion of the game i'm looking like well time to creep time to enjoy yourself try to build up your army and i think really think the hero level advantage did come out on top resource score yes was actually higher for um for the team without the paladin now, that actually makes sense since they were able to hold on to some expansions temporarily and then um well the marco and fetter were actually forced to try and well run around with a lot of their units back at home perhaps stopping their mining as well thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it